What makes the perfect egg roll? To me, it is all about that airy crust and the nice velvety filling. These contrasting textures create such an interesting experience, which will make your egg rolls irresistible. Hi everyone, welcome to Soup Top Recipes. I'm Mandy, and I'll be showing you how to make the traditional Shanghai-style egg rolls. Secret number one. Cornstarch water. It will make your pork nice and tender, and it will also create that classic smooth and creamy texture for your filling. The way I like to do this is to infuse the water with some aromatic first, instead of simply mixing the water with the cornstarch. In a small blender, add a quarter cup of diced scallion, one and a half tablespoon of minced ginger, one and a half tablespoon of minced garlic. One teaspoon of citron peppercorns and one cup plus a third cup of water. I'm actually using the shiitake mushroom soaking liquid because I like the extra flavor, but regular water is fine as well. Blend everything into a puree. Let them go through a sieve. Take two tablespoons of the aromatic water and mix with one and a half tablespoon of cornstarch. We will reserve this to marinate the pork later. Mix the remaining aromatic water with five tablespoons of cornstarch. We will use it to bind the filling together to create that classic texture. I've got here one pound of pork loin, which I already cut into a quarter of an inch thick slabs. All I need to do is to slice it into thin strips. Don't go too thick, otherwise it will be harder to wrap into the egg rolls. You can also use chicken breast if you want. Marinate it with one teaspoon of salt. A third teaspoon of baking soda. Baking soda will help to break down the meat fibers and tenderize the pork. Half tablespoon of Chinese cooking wine, some black pepper to taste, and the first cornstarch aromatic water. Mix thoroughly. Coating the meat with a thin layer of starch batter is called shangjiang in Chinese. Which helps to preserve the moisture of the meat while cooking, so your pork will come out succulent. Add a drizzle of vegetable oil and mix again. This will prevent the meat from sticking to each other while stir frying. Set it aside for fifteen minutes. I got here some garlic chives. Its scientific name is Alien tuberosum. It looks like chives, but the leaves are flat. It has a strong garlic flavor. That's how it got the name. You can buy it in almost any Asian market, but I don't know any replacement for it because nothing tastes similar. You can still make this recipe with other ingredients, though, such as julienne, cabbage, carrot, and zucchini. The stem part is a bit stiff. We don't want it to poke the wrapper, so I would dice it roughly. When you get to the leafy part. Just cut it into one-inch-long pieces. Here are the eight shiitake mushrooms that I soaked with water two hours ahead. We used the soaking liquid to make the aromatic water in the beginning. Now we just slice the mushrooms thinly. You can also use fresh mushrooms instead. Besides that, you will also need 120 grams of bean sprout. Okay, I think we have everything ready. Let's pre-cook the filling. Turn the heat to high and heat the wok until it is smoking hot. Add some cooking oil. Swirl it around to create a non-stick layer. Loosen up the pork strips before adding them to the wok so they don't stick together. Stir this for a few minutes, or until most of the meat has changed color. It is okay if the pork is not completely cooked 
through because we will deep fry the egg rolls later. Take the pork out and set it aside. The wok looks a bit dry, so I will drizzle in another teaspoon of oil and toss in the mushroom. Stir over medium heat for a couple of minutes to activate the mushroom flavor. Add the bean sprouts along with the seasonings. One and a half tablespoon of soy sauce, one and a half tablespoon of oyster sauce. Stir for about 10 seconds. Then add the garlic chives. Introduce the pork back to the wok. Continue to mix until the flavor is well combined. Drizzle some sesame oil for the nutty taste. Right now, the filling is very loose, which is not easy to wrap into egg rolls. Therefore, we'll pour in the cornstarch aromatic water. Once it thickens up, all the ingredients will bind together. This is the secret that I was talking about. It makes the filling incredibly delicious. Mix thoroughly. Remove everything from the wok. Quickly mix 2 tablespoons of all-purpose flour with 3 tablespoons of water. We will use it as the glue to seal the egg rolls. Now let's wrap the egg rolls. I'm using the store-bought wrappers, which are widely available in almost any Asian market. Sometimes even Walmart and Publix will carry it. Just check the frozen section in your local grocery stores, or you can watch this video and learn how to make your own. I have already put it out one hour ahead at room temperature to defrost. The store-bought wrappers always like to stick together, so I have to peel them ahead of the time. Put them in a container so they don't get dry. Take one piece of the wrapper, put some filling, about two to three tablespoons. Arrange it so it is almost like a rectangle. Watch the folding carefully because this is my second secret. Lift up one corner and fold that over. Pull it back tightly to compact the filling. Give a solid press on each side. Fold both sides to the middle. Apply some slurry at the last corner. When you roll over the rest of the wrapper, you roll it loosely. This will create a small airy space between the layers. With that, it will be harder for the moisture inside the filling to reach to the outer layer. So, your egg roll stays crispy for a longer time. This is like the small little things that chefs just won't tell you. Let's continue to finish the rest. A fun fact is that egg roll is called zha chun juan in Chinese, which means deep fried spring roll. The prototype of spring roll is a vegetable platter that comes with wrappers. Spring is the best season to collect all kinds of veggies as they are tender and fresh. That's how it got the name. Some other areas in China will even call it Yao Chun, which means a bite of spring. Such a poetic name. Nowadays, thanks to the technology, you can get any vegetables all year round, so the season will no longer limit your desire. However, Egg is not required in this recipe. I have done a lot of research and I could not find out how the word egg appeared in the English name. If you know, please leave a comment below so we can all learn. This recipe is enough to make 40 to 50 egg rolls, which is about 8 servings. Next, we will deep fry the egg rolls. Heat your frying oil to 370 degrees Fahrenheit. Add the egg rolls from the side of the wok so you don't splash the oil. Do not crowd the wok, only fry 10 to 12 pieces each time. 
The frying will take less than five minutes because the filling is cooked. So you can just go by the color. Once you see the egg rolls are nice and golden, you can turn off the heat and take them out. I just can't wait to give it a try. <laughs> Listen to this. With the rolling trick that I showed you, the skin came out so light and crispy. As opposed, the filling is silky and velvety. I wish you can eat with me. You'll be amazed how good they are. I know some of you are probably looking for dipping sauce. I am actually serving my egg rolls with Worcestershire sauce. It does not sound authentic at all. I'll explain why in the comment. Make sure you check it out. I hope you give this a try soon and make some perfect egg rolls. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.